Hey, all you ads managers, this is Mike reporting live with Advertising Report Card. Just wanted to give a quick walkthrough on how you can cherry pick targeting out of the gate to make sure that the winning ads are the ones that you scale across different demographics to target. So this is a go to launch strategy for a new uh, account. Basically, what we're going to be doing is taking the existing data that happened on the old accounts and try to find out who the most valuable demographics were on a simple age and gender level. So I'm going to go ahead and set this report up in the Facebook reporting campaign ad set, ad name, age, gender. And in my other videos, I have mentioned the different columns that I include. So you want to make sure that you have all the data that you need as well. If you want to see this, uh, I'll make sure to drop a link to the other video that describes the columns. So we're going to go ahead and download this into a CSV and then load it up into Google Drive. So once we have the document in here, I want to make sure you give it a good label. You know, whatever the account name is. So in this instance, we're going to take this data, filter it, and immediately start looking for anything that we can find. First of all, what do we spend the most money on? Males between 25 and 34. Interesting. Let's take a look at the cost per result. These are the link clicks as well. This is clearly not correct, but it's the way it was exported. Let's go ahead and make that two. That's a percentage. CPM, another big stat that we're looking for as well, looking for the more expensive CPMs. Let's go ahead and take these, bring them to the front, freeze some columns so it's easier for us to look at the data. So let's go ahead and freeze that row as we start to look down. So looks like uh, Mail is the dominated clickers on the ads uh, through all of the age ranges, which is interesting. Um, directly after those immediate spends is women over 65. I guess the only demographic that wasn't on the top with men was the 45 through 54. Looks like female above 65 is the most expensive. And then the least expensive out of the top is also a female over 65. So what this is telling me is that these ran on two different ads, even though the ad names are probably going to be the same, which they are. Interesting. Let's get rid of the real estate ads. So I get rid of not delivering. Active only. And, you know, the problem here is that we have two ads running at the exact same name. So what would I do in this situation? I'm going to hop into this ad set and I'm going to edit the names of the ads so I can pull a better report. So directly from the ads reporting in Facebook, you can click the link into a new tab. I hit control or command, depending on Mac or Windows, to pop open that new tab on Google Chrome. Then you can see we got the ad set selected, so we can pop into the ads right now. We're going to make some quick adjustments. We're going to do this V1, and then we're going to do V2. So now that we have these ads labeled, we can pop right back over into the report. Make sure it's saved. So that when we refresh the browser, everything's good to go. So let's hop in, refresh. And then we're gonna download this again. Now that I got these ads properly labeled with the data, what I'm going to do is just make this a lot easier to look at and 
get rid of that extra content. I don't need it. So now we can take an easier look. By looking at those three columns. So now let's look at cost. So add one definitely had the most spend, but uh, what we had discovered with this account by looking at the different ads is that the quality score of add two is actually higher, which might account for the lower cost for the female audience because it does look like the CPM was almost double between targeting the exact same audience. And that seems to be associated with the quality of the ad that was launched. So just optimizing that alone should help. Um, male 25 through 34 is also the number one male demographic for this ad as well. So that's consistent with not a huge CPM jump, which is also interesting in itself. Low, all in all, let's take a look and see if there's any other trends that we can look at that might be important. Let's take a look at the CTR real quick. So basically, after looking at this data, what I've determined, and this could be not 100% on, but it's definitely not 100% off, is that there is actually less views of the video itself on the lower uh, age brackets and much longer views of the video, especially from the female demographics on both ads. Uh, looks like, you know, um, two to three times, even, you know, four to five times as many uh, videos were watched 75% or more versus these lower numbers. So I found this to be very interesting. Um, looks like the more engaged people are the older females and the older males. But the people who leave the most engagements, post reactions, are the younger demographics, which would make sense. The younger users are a little bit more social. But then another thing to pay attention to is the saves. Look at who saved the ads. People who are actually using these for utilities, not just for posting or being social which is also very interesting. Looks like the older demographic also is focused on the saves. Um, looks like out of all the comments, the older demographic for the females left the most comments. So basically what we're seeing right here is that the people who are most engaged are the 65 year old plus bracket for females, followed by males and then 55 to 64. And then after that, I would say that those would probably be the two age ranges we want to attack first, honestly, even though the CPM is a little higher. If the quality score is good, it's actually lower because if you look at the, again, on the ad that had the better quality score, 11 was the cheapest. So that's going to be our targets out of the gate. So that's how we can use this data to decide who we want to start ads with. And then once we launch ads, what we can do is instead of having to change the ad a million times, across all the different demographics and speak to all the different people. What you can do is focus on doing one really good set of ads for one demographic. And once it's working consistently, then you can try that at the next demographic down. And if you need to shift for that demographic, you can, but that's the main idea behind looking at the data in order to build uh, new targeting ads. And then also the ad angle, making sure that you're looking at how these people are perceiving your service and why they would want to hire you and making sure that that's reflected in the ad. All right, that's it. Have a good one.